Hey guys, welcome back to a video. If you're wondering how to replace your in-cabin air filter and know the location of the blower control module and the blower control or the blower itself in a 2014, I'm not sure if you can see because of the light, to I believe 2021 Jeep Cherokee. Stay tuned. <clears throat> Alright guys, so the in-cabin air filter the power or the blower control module and also the actual blower itself for the ac unit it's going to be located on the passenger side of the vehicle if you go down here go down here this is your kick panel and then you have another panel up here and they just pull down you have these little plastic tabs that are holding them in place let me show you see that one just came right off There's that. So this is gonna be for your in-cabin air filter. There's gonna be a little tab right here on the bottom. You're gonna pull that down and then this just pops right up. And it's kinda, same thing on the top end. There's like a little hinge that it sits on. There you go, like that, see that? All right. Pretty simple. Reach in and just pull it out. You can see that's kind of dusty. Well, I do live in the desert, so which actually will probably make this a little bit easier if I pull this top panel out. So I'm gonna do that right now. There. Insulation and reverse. Okay, and then just put this back on. There we go, and that's done. All right guys, as you can see, the blower motor is right there, and the blower motor control module is actually to the left of it. It's actually integrated with the blower motor. So I need to remove three screws, which you use either a flathead screwdriver or you use an eight mil socket. So yeah, let's remove it. All right guys, so now that we replaced the in cabin air filter, I'm gonna replace the blower motor, which is this right here. This is original OEM. I actually went to the junkyard today and pulled it out. Um, I replaced the power control module last week. That's what my father thought it was. It wasn't that it's actually this. This has seemed to be shortening out in that one. So super simple. There is three screws. Sorry, that's right here. All right, that's better. All right, three screws, one there, one there, one there. It sits like this. This is gonna be more towards like the inside of the vehicle. This screw is actually a lot harder to get to. Um, it takes a flat screwdriver or, and a, or a 10 ml socket, or I'm not sorry, a eight ml socket. So whatever works easier for you. But you just zip these off, put the driver in, Zip, you zip off the screws, put it back, cut it. Let's just go put it on. All right, guys. So now, I'm gonna transplant the power control module from the old blower motor to the new, newish blower motor, which is gonna be two screws, full of point screws. Just remember when you're retightening these, be careful, don't use a drill because you can strip these out real quick because it's just re screwing back into plastic. Okay, and there you go. And 
that's it. And if you're wondering what that part number is on there, hopefully it focuses. There you go. And this is the blower control module. New one. All right, now that I got it swapped out, time to just reconnect everything and re-screw it back in. Guys, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this because this is hard for me to get into just because how husky I am <laughs> or fat, however you want to take it. All right, so everything's clipped in. So that's how you replace a cabin air filter, a um, blower motor resistor or control module, and the blow motor itself, and a, I believe it's 2015 to 2021 Jeep Cherokee. Um, what made it easier, honestly, was this here. If you don't have an automatic ratchet, just use an extension with a small ratchet. Like I said, it's an eight mil. Um, it is kind of tight to get underneath there. So if you have maybe one of the little quarter inch ratchets, that's gonna probably be best for you. Um, if that doesn't work, the heads on them are also Phillips. So if you can get a small enough screwdriver to kind of fit down there and then screw, really simple, really easy to take out. Um, these, all these parts I got from a junkyard um, down in downtown Phoenix. Um, the resistor cost me, I think it was 30 bucks. No, I'm sorry, the, the, uh, the, the blower motor resistor it was like forty dollars, and then the motor itself was actually thirty. Um, I ended up getting the center um, climate control unit also from them, um, from a wrecked Jeep, and I believe that was like twenty-five bucks. I think it was twenty, to be honest with you. But it was way cheaper than buying new because I know the resistor by itself. I saw on Parts Geek was like hundred and forty bucks. Um, the blower motor wasn't too bad, but it's not OEM, and I know OEM is kind of sound weird like i have a replacement oem in my truck which is a 2008 dodge dakota and there's like a slight vibration noise coming out of the motor and that's since brand new since i opened the box and i just got lazy and didn't want to send it back um <clears throat> but that's like 50 60 bucks so i saved over well it would have cost originally like 200 bucks um if you would have bought everything brand new um you can if you want i chose a cheaper route um this is actually my parents vehicle my dad was complaining about how the AC would turn on sometimes and then it would not turn on. So I figured it's either, it had to be one of those issues, either the motor's starting to go out and it's not engaging 
or it could be the resistor and it was just starting to fail or it's like the soldering or something in the resistor is making it fail to where like it would hit a bump and then it would turn on and then it hit another bump and turn off. Um, it wasn't any of the wiring because when I first had to do my diagnostic, remember guys, I'm not a mechanic. I just do this stuff on the side just for fun. Um, I would move all the wires to see if maybe it was a short and it wasn't that. So, but no, super simple. Anybody can do it. Um, super simple to get to. Um, but yeah, so that's how you find the location for your cab air filter and how to replace the other two components. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye.